what's up viewers welcome back to the channel so today we'll be checking out another epic 4x400 meter release it also has an epic comeback in it as well so hope you all stay tuned for that but definitely we're talking about christopher taylor at the Carifta games this was definitely an epic race from the start to finish. Before we get into this race, do me a huge favor by liking this video. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. That way you get all the updates in track and field. So this race was all the way back in 2017 for the Carifta Games where Christopher Taylor got the baton around 30 to 40 meters behind the Trinidad and Tobago runner. And definitely y'all will see what Christopher Taylor did. And it was no surprise to most people because Christopher Taylor at that time, he basically ran all his 400 meters races like that. Also the relays like that. So it was definitely no surprise. Definitely we expected him to do a great comeback and he definitely did. But y'all have to watch it for the end because it also have a twist to it. So watch it and y'all can let me know what you think. That's the start of the final event, final track event in the Four by 400 meters, 120 balls. Jamaica making up the standards. Jamaica goes by Bahamas having made up the standards. It is Jamaica running out of lane five. Canadian people also making up the standards. It is Jamaica, Canadian people, Tobago, and Jamaican people. They have a mix up there. Canadian people are going to go first. Why do you talk about it? Jamaica, Spicy, Canadian people, Jamaica, Mahalas, Disney. It is Canadian people, Jamaica has some work to do. Canadian people, Canadian people. So viewers, so far Jamaica has been having some of the worst button changes I've ever seen in a 4x400 meter release. But they almost dropped the button initially on the first um, change over but definitely they managed to remain second place. So now we're going to see what happens throughout the remaining of the race. What's going to happen when Christopher Taylor gets the button. So viewers, there you have it. So despite closing the gap, despite going shoulder to shoulder with the Trinidad and Tobago runner, Christopher Taylor just didn't have enough in the tank to go past him. And the reason being is because the Trinidad and Tobago, if you notice, he actually leaned into Christopher Taylor, start going into lane two, lane three. So he was basically trying to get beside him to basically add more pressure to him so he could lose his form and that's what happened hence the reason why Christopher Taylor almost fell and that's the reason why Trinidad and Tobago um, got the win in the end but definitely it was a great race from start to finish 
I want to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comment section. But that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. You can leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe that we get all the updates in track and field.